welcome back guys in this unit we are going to talk about contour line drawing in association with elements of art two elements of it more specifically line and shape when we first picked up a pen or pencil and start making marks on paper we most often begin with lines whether self-taught or through trials and errors or guided by others we learn how lines defines forms shapes create structures divides a frame traces contour create tonal variations and it allows us to create really nice drawing Initially, a mechanism for getting outlines onto paper, which means identifying edges, we begin to apply lines for its own merit. And then after a line, it sort of becomes some shape and shapes then turns into forms. So we must talk about two elements of art that defines a great successful drawing. One, line to shape. I want you to go ahead and watch a short video that I have posted on your Schoology and really appreciate the definition of art. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to talk to you guys about the definition of line. This is something that you might have to write it down. Lines are marks moving in a space between two different points. Um, you can sort of read this as a movement in the directions and it has an intentional sort of um, orientations that you decide as an artist. It also describes an outline capable of producing textures like soft textures or rigid edges. The lines produce those textures. And there are actually different types of lines that you will learn. Uh, it's an actual line where it's one point to the other where it's connected. We also have an implied line where we have broken lines that we link with our brain and we have implied line as the word says. We have vertical, horizontal, diagonal lines that we are all used to from perspective drawing unit. We also have contour line where we are going to focus on the outer edge in this unit. And they all have a different functions, of course. And here are definitions of shape. Shape is a two dimensional design, uh, design encased by lines to signify its height and width. It's really as simple as circle shapes and, and you know, circles, squares, or rectangles. And those circles, rectangles are something that we call geometric shapes because those are usually man-made. It has a very uniform measurement that we can measure. Whereas organic shapes are something that we are going to focus on this unit where we appreciate the shapes in lines from the nature, like the leaves and the sunflower leaves and the clouds and things that are given by nature. It's more feminine line. If we per, uh, sort of focus on geometric shapes and lines in perspective drawing, now we are really focusing on organic shapes and lines. So watch those two videos that I have linked it for you, and I'll talk to you in a second.